each in here, guys. I don't even know what I'm going to call it, so let's just get into the Word of God. Amen. First Chronicles chapter 16. And, it, and I just want to read a few, like a verse or two here. It says, So they brought the ark of God and set it in the midst of the tabernacle that David had erected for it, so that they offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. And when David had finished the offering and the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he distributed everyone of Israel, both man, woman, and everyone a loaf of bread piece of meat and cake of raisin. And you can continue to read this because it is beautiful. There's a psalm in here. David sings praises to the Lord. And then they bring the ark into the tabernacle that David had erected. Now, why am I showing you this? I'm showing you this because right now, I want you to look. What do you have here? Okay. You have a man, King David. You have the ark of the covenant, which is God. And you have a place, which is Jerusalem. So we have God, a man, and a place, right? All three things lined up at one time, according to God's will. Perfect plan and glory. And what happened? That the outcome was beautiful. Okay, this is one of God's most precious times in all of human history. Is when David prepared a tabernacle in the wilderness and brought it into Jerusalem, which is God's city. Right? He loves that city. He, Jesus lamented over Jerusalem as a mother hen longs to gather her chicks, right? And the Ark of the Covenant, man, the box God lived in to dwell amongst his people. All these things in line in one time, in one season, for one plan and one purpose. And the same thing is happening today, folks. The same thing, man, if you were able to receive it. Also, I want you to realize Solomon built the, for years, built the beautiful, luxurious, glorious temple for the ark to go into in the same location. But what happened? The people's hearts turned from the Lord because it was given to them so easily. They didn't earn it or work for it or, or, or want it or yearn for it like David did. David was meek and lowly in the wilderness. He had nothing of value to this earth, but in God's eyes, it was the one thing God longed for was a heart rendered unto him. Amen. Woo! So right now, guys, I'm telling you, the new wine is being poured out in new wineskins. Humble yourself. Come with a repentive heart. You are a nobody. I am a nobody. Let's be David's. Let's be humble and meek and lowly in the wilderness. Prepare a tabernacle for the living God to come abide in you in this hour. It's time, brothers and sisters. I don't care what your calling is. It's time to just get yourself in line with God. Prepare the tabernacle of your heart for him that he may come and fill it through the power and might of his Holy Spirit. I pray the Lord Jesus Christ bless each one of you right now in his holy and mighty name. Amen.